What the heck? What did this get here? Oh, hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, the Chevy Nerd, coming at you through the power of the internet. And today's video is gonna be on the brand new 2024 Chevrolet Colorado Bison Edition. This thing is sick. I'm making this special video for a good friend of mine, Caleb. He ordered this back in November and it just arrived. He's picking it up today. So we're gonna go ahead and make this custom video for him. Let him know what it, his truck is all about and share it with you guys online. All right, stay tuned for more. We're gonna take a look at the exterior body of the vehicle, and then we're gonna take a look at the insides and why this thing is one of the best off-road vehicles in the market right now. I cannot believe that I finally got my hands on one of these guys here at the dealership. We've been waiting since November. Uh, to be exact, my friend Caleb ordered this November 6th, and it, uh, we just had to wait for an allocation. And what's crazy is my friend Caleb could have almost missed it by a week, uh, but we were on top of it. And we were able to get it ordered because we had another client that needed an allocation for this. But this, since November and since the release, is our first allocation for the ZR2 Bison. And oh my God, this thing is sick. Uh, it's probably one of the best looking Colorados I've seen. So uh, right off the bat, you see obviously some of the exclusive features of ZR2. Um, and then we have AEV when it comes to the Bison package, giving us that combination of those wheels with the AEV wheels, special rims for off-road performance and uh, keeping the tire pressures on point. Uh, just, God, I just, I'm, I'm drooling right now. I am drooling because this thing is sick. So towards the front, obviously that new grill uh, really shines very well and it's got that flow tie with the red accents obviously towards the bottom you have those red recovery hooks and then you have that bow tie that you go right through it so pretty sick there uh, the ZR2 badging uh, right on there too the new LED headlamps uh, as well just going into just look at all the detail that they've added into this new uh, vehicle it is it is freaking phenomenal uh, it's one of my favorite trucks so far and probably the best order unit I have done. So I'm very happy that I was able to help my friend out. So let's take a look at a couple of the features here. So standard when it comes to these, uh, this particular unit is we have that three inch lift. So if I recall correctly, we have a ground clearance or what they call a, de sorry, a departure angle of 38 degrees. So that basically constitutes how much it can go ahead on that front side uh, to take on off-road obstacles and you know start approaching any particular boulders or rocks anything like that and then we have a uh, let's see here towards the rear uh, when you're coming down you have a different angle uh, towards the back just because of the rear components and things like that if i recall correctly the rear angle um, I forget, it's called descending angle or something like that. Uh, when it comes to, I think it was about 26 degrees to make sure that uh, the underneath components don't get hit. So, and then the mid, uh, the mid portion, uh, right towards the middle, we have about 26 degrees, if I recall correctly, 26.9 degrees. And that is gonna be the angle right in between here. So when going through obstacles, obviously you have that front lift. And then when it's kind of setting down, you have a specific amount of degrees uh, here, which is 26.9, uh, to make sure that none of the things are hitting uh, your, your truck there. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. But I wanted to cover a couple of things. In the previous portion of the video, I was talking about the approach angle, uh, departure angle, and then the last one being that uh, mid angle. So when it comes to the approach angle, that's the one in the front. I had them backwards. So the approach angle is to the front and it's gonna be 38.2 degrees when it comes to the front. Now, the departure angle is the portion in the rear. The portion in the rear is what's gonna go ahead as soon as you guys are going over boulders, all that kind of stuff, how much room you have between the physical object at the bottom to go ahead and have any contact there. And that is gonna be a total of uh, 26 degrees as well. Now, you also have your mid angle here. Uh, this mid angle, as soon as it's crawling over to make sure anything doesn't touch that area on the bottom, you also have another 26 degrees on there. So that's a key factor if you guys are gonna take this bad boy off-road. And you betcha, Caleb did let me know 
this thing is definitely going to be hitting the dirt. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other things. So uh, a couple things with uh, ZR2, we also see our, our DSSV, which is our Multimatic Function uh, shocks there. What make this one of the key things about the suspension, a customized suspension designed specifically for ZR2, giving it the best performance. You typically see a lot of other off-road suspensions that are universal for other trucks, but this is specifically made for this truck, making sure it has the best performance based on the design of this particular truck here. Now, a couple of the things that are exclusive from AEV, let's take a look at that. The Bison package uh, obviously gets you a cool sticker, <laughs> which is uh, obviously the CR2 Bison. But most importantly, we're going to take a look at the rear bumper here. 100% steel. Okay, so this is a pretty heavy bumper. Uh, this is through, one, once again, the AEV company there. And it's designed for off-road um, off capabilities. You see some of the hooks there. Uh, that are available on there too to go ahead and you know hook on whatever you need to dig out or different things that you're doing you can add a winch and stuff like that as well very heavy duty bumper obviously you see the customized uh wheels from aev so really awesome uh and just the black on this looks sick um, with this one here we also have a if i recall correctly it was a 35 inch tire on there um, I'll have to double check, I can't recall, but with the 17 inch rim. Those are specifically designed for obviously the off-road purpose. And then AEV also puts this side fender on there as well to kind of cover the size of the tire there too. And then at the bottom, all the ZR2s come standard with this rock panel. So this rock panel is there to protect the vehicle and make sure everything is 100%. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more things here. Towards the front, we're gonna see an additional steel bumper. And this time, if I can't recall on the last version, I think the last version did not have fog lights. And this one here on this new AEV bumper, once again, 100% steel on there too. You're gonna have that new aggressive bumper there just to protect your truck from any crazy off-road experiences that you're having. Now, a couple things that make uh, Bison unique as well is when we're looking at the bottom, hopefully I can kind of reach under there. And we're going to be taking a look at a different set of skid plates. So let me see what I can do here and see if I can angle this. All right, give me a second here. Chevy Nerd's getting dirty here. So when we're looking at this, let me see if I can angle my camera here. Right towards the bottom here, we're going to have a different aspect of... Oh, sorry there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, this little gimbal, I'm trying to get used to it. Let me take it off of there real All right, quick. guys, so getting down and dirty down here, I had to move this, uh, but let me go ahead and cover this real quick. Uh, right underneath here, uh, we have obviously all that steel right in here. The cool thing about this one, it's, it's a specific type of steel called barren steel. So this really has quite a bit of uh, uh, obviously protection on there. Uh, really, really cool stuff. And, uh, oh, there you go, the Multimatic uh, uh, suspension there. But as I crawl back down, all of this is protected. This is what makes this one different than a, a couple of the other ones. So the standard ZR2 has the skid plate on here and this protection. But if we start taking a look at further back, you're gonna have additional protection there. So let me go ahead and get underneath the other side there. Uh, and then coming in this direction. Oh God, God I'm getting old. Okay, sorry for all the movement there, guys. But right over here, we obviously see that skid plate come all the way across the rear. And then right in the axle, you see that additional skid plate there. And like I said before, this is that barren steel. It's going to protect it there. And then as you see that skid plate from the front, um, you see quite a bit more protection. So I'm trying to get the best visuals here. But obviously right over here, some major components that are there. Uh, we're going to be covering that as well with the skid plate uh, on there as well. So this is the ultimate protection. When it comes to the standard ZR2, you're not going to see all of these skid plates that you have on this one. This is exclusive to the ZR2 Bison. 
So I missed covering about the underbody cameras, so I wanted to go ahead and take a little snapshot of the video, and I circled there that area where the body camera is. So this is pretty cool. Underneath there, you're gonna see that camera that is gonna allow you to see as you're rock crawling underneath your truck. So this kind of levels up the game when you're going in your off-road experience. So I'm sure one of the questions you guys have is what's powering this thing? So this guy has the brand new 2.7 liter engine turbo max through General Motors. Now, we put this engine on our half tons and have been working on it since 2019, retuned it, and now we've also incorporated it to the Colorados. Now, the cool thing about this one here is we're putting a total of 310 horsepower uh, in power there, and then we're also doing a total of 430 foot-pound of torque. That is a total of 155 foot pound of torque more than the previous version under the v6 so this thing has got a lot of power but at the same time focusing on the aspect of fuel economy and performance all at the same time so this is going to be the perfect off-road experience with a high torque output that is going to allow you to really really explore some of those crazy trails all right guys so we looked at the outside we took a little bit of uh, some specs on there too but let's go ahead and get inside and take a look at the inside of this vehicle and see how really cool this thing is. So going into the interior, let's check this bad boy out. Um, you're going to have a custom interior with the um, uh, Bison package that you won't have with anything else. So you're going to see right through here, we're going to have the aspect of leather with the yellow stitching. Um, right towards the uh, console as well, you're going to see a lot of that similarities kind of play out through the entire area there too. So really awesome stuff and then right over here you're going to have that custom aev uh, leather uh, which is nice this really just makes the vehicle stand out substantially more uh, you're going to have that leather with perforated seats on there too and then just a little awesome touch in design there and the yellow stitching all throughout so really nice uh, you also see that in your center console there as well and into uh, kind of the side portions here too now uh as I step inside, let's get in here. Ugh, God, it's a little tall truck. Ugh. So as we get in inside, uh, we're gonna see a full new layout here. This thing is awesome. So let me go over a couple of exclusives with the ZR2. So when I get in here, oh, look at that. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> That is super cool. Sorry, I'm geeking out here. But uh, let's go ahead and start this truck. Uh, when we start it, one of the cool things about this particular unit is that with ZR2, you're going to get a total of an 11-inch uh, display right here. So the previous model only has, or not previous model, I apologize, the uh, LT, Z71, and all those are going to come with a standard 8-point-inch display uh, for their... Um, infotainment or for their cluster up here uh, with this one you get introduced with an 11 inch display so you can have a lot of your information really right up here and available to you quickly as well and then to the right hand side uh, we're going to have an 11.3 inch display uh, this thing is gorgeous um, it allows you to do all the things that you need for your personal entertainment as well as with this off-road beast a lot of the off-road capabilities as well so a lot of really cool stuff within this package uh, towards the bottom you see some of the more of your standard things such as the uh, creature comforts the dual zone climate control knobs there so these obviously as soon as you turn them on you're going to have separate climate zones this is the first for colorado uh, the previous models only had um, let's sync them there uh, the previous models only had uh, a single zone. Uh, it still had an active climate control zone where it was like uh, kind of like a thermostat at home, but it wasn't dual zone like this one is. So that kind of is a nice upgrade there too. And then for the first time ever on Colorado, we have the combination of both heated and cooled seats, which is definitely an awesome upgrade. Now, from the previous units, uh, I'm sure you guys are aware, we also had a wireless charger. The wireless charger we used to sit towards the back, but it was kind of useless. It was super limited in size. This one's substantially bigger. It can take care of an iPhone um, and the majority of the Android units that are wireless as well, uh, and usually the bigger size uh, 
options too. Uh, with, what's nice about this platform here is if you can go ahead and toss your phone and also maybe your AirPods or any wireless air, uh, earbud chargers, it'll go ahead and get charged there too. Uh, the beauty of the ZR2 Bison then allows us to have the rear locking differential and then also the front locker on there too. So this is what makes this particular off-road beast what it is alongside the uh, Multimatic shocks and additional features with the lift, suspension, all that kind of stuff. Now towards here you have your uh, shifter and next to your shifter you have your mode selector. So this mode selector is your different styles of drive. You can spin it through there and as soon as you start spinning it, what you'll see is that there's going to be a selection of different modes for your journey. So, so let me go ahead and cover these again. So off-road mode, uh, that off-road mode is going to be for more of situations such as grass, mud, deep snow. It's just the, for the aspect of increasing that traction. And then we're going to have things such as tow haul mode that allows us to go ahead and, and have different shifting points when we're towing. So on this particular one, we're going to be able to tow a total of 5,500 pounds. The standard Colorado is able to tow 7,500 pounds, but the major difference is obviously with the Bison, uh, Bison uh, limits the towing because of the additional weight that barren steel and those additional components that are added to the truck have to be taken into consideration as well when towing now let's take a look sorry um, the next mode that we have is terrain mode so it kind of kicks me out of there because it needs to be in four wheel highs as you guys can see it there uh, but the terrain mode is going to be more for the aspects of rocks and very steep hills and then going into the Baja mode let's see here uh, oh keep switching through there Baja mode, that one's going to be specific, and now that is only exclusive to ZR2, ZR2 Bison, and also uh, the standard ZR2, and it just optimizes power delivery and stability and traction control in driving in sandy conditions and terrains. Okay. Now, uh, another cool thing to do on the new infotainment system here is you're going to have off-road mode here. So off-road mode here is, uh, it's going to give you the different segments here for Baja terrain and overlanding here. So when it comes to uh, Baja, uh, it's going to go ahead and give you your different scores uh, right on here. So you can go ahead and kind of track and reset those scores. The scores are in red. And when you guys are going through, you know, kind of your, your specific journey and all that kind of stuff, you'll be able to see that. Um, and record some of those specific things that you're looking at. Uh, with terrain, same thing, you're gonna be able to see different options, especially when it comes to uh, tire pressures, all that kind of stuff, your pitch, your roll, and you'll be able to have your scores and your best scores right on there too. Uh, overlanding, uh, this is uh, specifically to getting into your um, off-road area. So when you guys are going up, uh, up to some of the mountains and things like that, it'll measure all your altitude and feet and has your compass there, all that kind of stuff. So pretty cool. Uh, pretty nifty options there. Now, a couple other things too available on ZR2 is your air down mode. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's available on ZR2 and Z71. Um, the air down mode allows you to go ahead and click on here and you'll be able to reduce uh, the tire pressure on your truck. You'll have to do it manually and once it's at the optimal amount, uh, then you'll be able to go ahead and hear a beep. At that point, you stop uh, releasing pressure and then now the tires are ready for uh, a better, uh, better traction. Now, the reason we would do that is uh, to increase a little bit per performance and it's usually on softer terrains that you'd want to do that. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Let's cover a couple of the basic things here. Uh, right through your um, your steering wheel, you have all of the things for your cruise control, setting, resetting, and also your gap distance here. So once you kind of select that, you'll see that little gap indicator there. We're going ahead and measure it. Basically, this is the following distance indicator and forward collision warning measurement. So you can kind of start prepping your vehicle on how to measure for any impending impacts or anything like that and have it warn you. Um, uh, towards the right-hand side, we have information for your uh, cell phone uh, answer hang up uh, you can also use the speak button there heated steering wheel 
Uh, and then this gives you different options within your screen, if I recall correctly. So this kind of switches your gauges uh, as well, it gives you different gauges and options there. So pretty neat, and it kind of gives you a different overlay of stuff. Now this one here is kind of awesome because it also gives you a GPS navigation system right onto your infotainment cluster there, or not infotainment, you're just your cluster uh, with your miles per hour. So that's another neat one, but it has different options and different views that is going to be more custom to you. So check them out, play with them. Uh, there's a lot of information on here to go through. So advise to go ahead and mess around with it, but I love this thing. This thing is super cool. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of quick, but I wanted to cover a couple of the cool things on this one. I'm gonna deliver it here to my friend uh, here within probably 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, so obviously this will be posted uh, later on YouTube, but um, I'm excited to actually make a video on this one because I haven't made a video on a ZR2 and a video in general uh, for a minute. So I finally got a little bit of pe the pep on the step when I saw this one. I got super excited. I definitely wanted to share this with you guys. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be posting a little bit more videos uh, from now on on the Chevy Nerd YouTube channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, Chevy Nerd, and also Facebook page. Uh, right on there, you'll be able to see a lot of the cool stuff that I can do for my customers, special deals that are exclusive to you guys as well. Uh, follow me on that page. I update inventory, all that kind of stuff uh, on a daily basis. So check me out on those social media platforms, follow me and uh, stay tuned for more fun videos like this one on the Chevy Nerd.